I can't say enough about uh, Joe Cap. Joe Cap uh, was a true inspirational leader. Every play in the huddle. You know, you'd make eye contact with him and you could see the passion in his eyes uh, and his desire to win and to perform and to execute. And that inspired us as players to do the same. Any championship team begins with superior leadership, such as the Vikings have in coach Bud Grant and quarterback Joe Cap. We had to have some leadership. You know, now we had the, the defensive side, we had leadership. But the Tarkinen had gone to the Giants, we had to have some leadership. 1967 was a homecoming year for Vikings coach Bud Grant, returning to Minnesota after 10 years as the most successful coach in Canada. His quarterback, Joe Cap, was also new to the NFL. But he added some new dimensions with a unique style of play. Cap brought the jump pass, the bootleg, and the quarterback sneak back into the attack. And the Vikings responded to his leadership. He was a competitive player. We needed leadership. And you got to have a leader at that spot. And Joe Cap is one of the great characters and one of the great yeah. historians, players of this football team. And he gets credit for being one of our great leaders. I think it's very unique in a person's life when you can meet people that have the goal and accomplish it. And didn't we win a couple games? Fortunately for the Vikings, Joe Cap is one of the toughest men in football. How does a quarterback avoid such pressure? The classic way is to throw over it. But Joe Cap is not a classic quarterback. He is a fighter concerned more with results than style. He does not scramble, he runs. He does not try to escape, he attacks. He runs over and through people at the rate of more than five yards per try. Joe Cap is not a classic quarterback. He is a winning quarterback. That's what I remember about Joe Cap. Yeah. From age 12 on, he was a leader. He didn't push himself in certain directions on other people, but he led by example. It was sort of a mantra that, uh, that we adopted, and it was basically 40 players on the team at that time that we had uh, for 60 minutes, and you didn't give up. You play all 60 minutes. You know, they voted Joe Cap the most valuable player. He got up in front of the room and said, there is no one valuable player, there's 40. And so that kind of went on from there. There is no most valuable Viking. There are only 40 most valuable Vikings. 40 for 60, put it that way. I, I, I just can't accept this. Thank you.